Good morning, my name is Michelle Hammond and I am with um, Moore Public Schools EdTech and I'm here to give you your tip of the week. And I'm gonna to talk to you about our new platform that just we just rolled out, it's Canva EDU. And I'm gonna give you a brief intro and I'm gonna show you how Canva can integrate with your Canvas assignments. So here we go. Okay, so that was a brief overview of what Canva can do. And what I wanna show you is how you can incorporate Canva into Canvas. So the first thing I wanna show you is over here on our left-hand navigation down here towards the bottom, you do have a Canva for Education button, and that's gonna just take you straight to Canva. It's not gonna do any integrations for you, but if you wanna just quickly jump to Canva to, to create some things, that's the, best, that's the best way to do it. It goes right there. So the next thing I want to show you is how you can embed a Canva, anything that you create in Canva, how you can come and embed it into your Canvas. So if you want to do it as a page for like an anchor chart or an infographic, you can do that. Or if you want to do a poster um, as an example for an assignment, you can do that as well. So I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm going to make an assignment. I'm going to make a new assignment and I'm going to just say, that I want to do something over the rock cycle. And then I'm just going to say here that um, I want them to do a poster or a project, but I want to give them just an example. So create a poster, spell it right, over the rock cycle. Okay, and this is an assignment. So, but I want them to have an example. So I'm going to come, after I do that, I'm going to come right up here to this button. Looks like the plugin. You have the drop down and you see it says Canva for Education. I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up Canva right here inside of Canvas for me. And I can, if I already have something created, I can choose that or I can come up here and click create a design and it takes me into Canva and I can do anything I need to. But I've already made one, so I'm going to make, use this one as an example and it pops it right in there. And then since this is an assignment, I need to come down and make my points. And then I want to, if I want them to be able to also use Canva as an assignment, I'm gonna pick online and I want to have to choose the website URL and a file upload. And then of course you come down here and decide how many attempts are you gonna allow do you want plagiarism? Is it a group assignments? Do you want required peer reviews? Is it included? And then who's it? Do? And then let's just, we need to do a due date. And then we need to say it's available. And I'm going to make it available now so they can see it. And then it's due then. And then you're going to come over here and save and publish. So not only do the students now see any, any kind of poster or graphic organizer that I want, it's that easy to embed it right there. But since I made this an assignment, the students can actually come in and use Canva on their end to upload an assignment. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like for what the students do. So if you come over here, I'm gonna pretend like I'm a student, I'm gonna use student view. And I come in and it looks like just what a student sees. And here is an example. And it says start an assignment, which is any way that they do, in, they do that in Canvas. So I click start an assignment, and then I come right down here, and you see where it says Canva for Education. So if they click on that, then it's going to pop them into their Canva designs. And again, if obviously they're probably going to need to create one, but I created one. They can come in here and create a poster, anything they want. But since I already created one, I'm going to use that one, and it puts it in there is a link and I'll show what it looks like in a minute and if they wanted comments or anything like that they can have them and then they submit assignment and that's how fast it is for them to do okay and so they've submitted it and they're done but let's see what it looks like as a teacher I'm going to leave student view 
And as you can see, it goes back to the assignment. But if you come over here and hit speed grader, you can see who's assigned it and you just you can, and it just pops it up right there and you can view what they've done. You give them a grade, you give them a comment. Let's give them a 95 and let's just say awesome job. And you're done. So you are finished, the student's finished, you've graded it and they get their assignment. It's that quick. Back to this assignment, okay? So you can assign pretty much as long as you make sure that you have website and file upload is how you're going to do the assignment. The other thing I wanted to show you is that you can add any, any kind of graphic organizer from Canva that you want. If you want to do it in a new page and you want like an anchor chart, like I said before, you just click new page and you just say biomes, whatever you want to talk about. And you can come over here and you just go right to Canva and you literally can put anything you want in here done and it can now become some kind of um, resource for them done the other thing i want to show you that canva has specifically for canvas is i'm going to come over here to my canva page and if you type in canvas banner it has already tons of pre-made canvas banners for your home page in canvas so you can come over here and click on any of these that you want and change them up to say what you want to say. So instead of online learning, I just want it to say English. Be nice if I spelled it right. And then it will automatically share it. You can, but you want to probably want to change the name to English banner and it's done but the only thing about your your uh, banners and the buttons i'm going to show you is that there's not a direct up link you'll have to download it and upload it just like you would do any other button but i do also want to show you that you can also search for a canvas button and all these buttons that you want to create for links in in canvas are all right here again you just click on whichever one you want and change it to say whatever you want it to say, and it's good to go. So, and I'll show you what this looks like. So you click on this and you just say reading. And then you're going to come over here, change the title. And then you want to download it and you have to save it as a picture. So you're going to download it. And then you're going to save it. And then you're going to come back over into one of your pages and you can go right in and upload it to any page that you want. So I'm going to make a page reading and I want to come and put my page in here, upload an image. And if it's sitting right here, still that you downloaded, if you wanted to drag that in right there, it would just drag in and go in that quick. There it is. So um, that's everything that we have for Canva with Canvas. If again, if you need anything from us, just shoot us an email and we'll help you out. Thank you.